Andrew McCart, IFL TV. I'm here with Jack Turner himself. Jack, big arena, big show, big fight coming up, no doubt. How are you feeling? Yeah, no, good. Uh, happy I'm going to go back into camp, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, I've got plenty of time, so as, as mad as it sounds, I'm looking forward to not having a Christmas, so I've got really something to drive towards, you know what I mean? So, uh, listen, take my turkey and all that away from me. Or, uh, nah, not so much the turkey, the gravy. Take the gravy away from me, do you know what I mean? Uh, so, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, aye, ready to go. Obviously, last time out, you, you you jumped into the lion's den, you were in a good fight for a title. Um, testament to you for taking that fight. It's a learning experience. Obviously, you're going to come back bigger and better. So, what can we expect on February 8th? Uh, I obviously, taking the, taking the fight with Coleman, kind of, we had four weeks' notice. Uh, we, we, kind of, we didn't want to knock it back. John. We kind of had a look at him, and uh, all respect to, to Colin, we kind of we had a look at him, and we thought, right, that's, a, that's enough time for a, for a good title on a big show. We thought we were going to beat him quite comfortably. We felt, you know what I mean, we had four weeks to lose, what, 10 kilo. So, we used it as a camp to lose weight, and uh, we got in there, and it was a kind of I even said that to Colin after the first couple of rounds. I mean, well, this has turned out a wee bit different. But what I expected is that he's a bit harder than we expected. And uh, all credit to Colin, he boxed absolutely excellent. Uh, so I'm boxing an opponent who, who's fought Colin twice. I think the first fight was a bit controversial or whatever. And then the second time it got stopped on a cut. Uh, so I know I've got a good live opponent for Ireland coming. So I expect, a, listen, I expect myself to go through a hard camp. I'm looking forward to that, to apply myself in training. And then I'm really, I'm really hoping to put on a clinical performance. What is it with that? You see my question to Ian up there when I said, uh, when I see all you young fighters up there and every single one of you have had tough fights so early on in your career, 50-50 fights so early on in your career and, and taking that gamble. What is it? What is it about you guys up there that are willing to say yes to a fight? Uh, I think I think the, the, the part is we're in the fight game. I don't understand why you're, why you're not going to fight anybody. Listen, you could... Probably my biggest downfall is saying yes. Do you know what I mean? Because I fight anybody. I'm not really caring. Do you know what I mean? You could you could phone me and say, you know what I mean? You're boxing out of Josh and I'm a, I'm a featherweight, but I no bother. Do you know what I mean? It's like uh, it's no it's not a problem. I've not got that problem where I have to have to ever think about something. At the end of the day, if, if it's fight, then I it's go time. Do you know what I mean? But sometimes it can be a curse also. Do you know what I mean? It's because there's probably times you should you should have a sit back and go right. Maybe I, I should take a bit of time and and, and not rush into this. But I I think. I think the problem with boxing now is people avoiding people, and it's uh, it's not good for the sport. Do you know what I mean? It's uh, you go in there you, you, if you've got enough time, then you should never be saying no to something. I guess that word yes is easy for you, for you when it comes to a fight. Like you said, you'd fight Anthony Joshua even at a featherweight. Ah, you know I mean, I'm not going to bother. Do you know what I mean? It's it could be him or my granite at the end of the ring. It's not I mean. It's one of the things. It's it's fucking you're, you're there to fight. It's I'm not going to as I said shy away from anything. It is what it is. Now, you said the last fight was a four-week fat loss camp, basically. Um, we're 12 weeks out from this one, so I'm guessing you're going to prepare well. Christmas is cancelled, like you said. Um, so are we going to see the best Jack Turner? No, 100%. I've said it time and time again, do you know what I mean? I'm going to prepare, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and I've never really... So this one's more for myself and, and for Colin, to show Colin. But listen, I, I, I'm willing to really dedicate myself and, and, and put myself through the paces so I'm as I said I'm kind of looking forward just to having a, a proper good camp and uh, not, not, I'm not going to shy away from it or, or cut any corners I'm, I'm done with that so I'm looking forward to actually listen talking's a good game do you know what I mean so I'm just looking forward to, to proving on the night uh, 2025 just around the corner you, you're out quite early in 2025 um, one final one for me in terms of questions here Jack what sort of goals have you set yourself for the new year uh, I think definitely get this fight out of the way, prevail in this, get a title, and I would love, I would honestly love to box Colin again, do you know what I mean? I would love to go down that route and uh, get get my revenge on him. So I I would, I know I understand it, I'll probably not get that right away, I'm going to need to win a few things. So that's, that's my sole purpose, win a few things, and then me and him will go at it again, and I, I, I think, on a, no, I know, on a full camp, um, it'll be a different outcome. Listen, Jack, go and enjoy the training camp. No doubt it starts Monday, and uh, I'll catch up with you very, very soon, my man. Thank you, brother. Thank you.